Hi everybody. Welcome back to the shop. And uh, yesterday we got the top, back, sides and bracing all thickness and sanded down to 180 grit sandpaper on my drum sander. Today we focus our attention on binding. So I picked up this cool piece of rosewood and I've got some maple. And what I'm planning on doing is making some binding where it'll be rosewood, then a thin strip of maple, then a thin strip of rosewood. So it's going to have a little bit of a purfling on the bottom of the, um, the binding. And then also what I'm going to make is a rosewood maple um, purfling that can be glued um, next to the binding in the top of the body. So there will be a channel for the purfling and then another channel for the binding. So, and that's how that's done. So, anyways, we should probably get started. This is kind of a this is kind of a tedious task. I don't know how well this video is actually going to end up because um, it's a lot of running stuff through machines. So, pick a powder. <laughs> Here we are. We got the rosewood cleaned up, squared up, and uh, you get a good look at the grain and where you want to cut and how you're going to make your binding with it. These are squared up, so this is going to be a, a line of purfling. So basically, what you have to do now is you have to keep everything square as you go. So what I'll do is I'll I'll run this through the bandsaw take a shim off and then set it aside. I'll run this through my thickness sander or planer for what, whichever one I got running over there and uh, smooth it and square it down again and then cut another piece off and square it down again and cut another piece off and square it down again so that you end up with a bunch of rough, one side rough and one side smooth. And then you take that, those pieces and you machine them down through the thickness sander down to 30 thou or whatever you want. And then you end up with two pieces that have square edges, straight, um, perfect dimensioned, both sides smooth. And then uh, eventually what you'll end up is this width here will be uh, the binding. And then you'll end up with another piece that's the 30 thou or whatever, maple. And then another 30 thou of the rosewood and uh, you end up with a sandwich and you do the exact same thing with that. You cut a piece off, you smooth it. You cut a piece off, you true it up. You cut a piece off, you true it up. And then you keep doing that. And you, if you keep everything square and smooth as you go, then you're not running into making binding that's all, all over the place by the time you run it through the thickness sander. So, but. Uh...
through the magic of TV, I'm going to make the last three hours appear like probably about 30 seconds, 45 seconds. We'll see what comes out when I edit it, but uh, it takes a long time to do this. I've got this one uh, machined down just over a quarter inch thick. These four here are 30 thou. So you're gonna have a sandwich like this, like that, and you're gonna glue that. And what you'll end up with is, there's the view of the side of the binding, which will look pretty snazzy. So you have a nice little stripe there. And then I'm gonna glue these two up for just purfling, for decoration, for next to the binding, maybe something uh, up along the headstock. I'll drink my coffee and uh, maybe go in and get some dinner and call it a night. Catch you guys all later.